Hey guys, Steve here. Today is Sunday, June 4th, 2023. Uh, happy June. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Uh, I just have a couple, a few pieces to share with you today that I picked up yesterday at our, at our uh, June club meet. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so it looks like H case is starting to hit. Uh, buddy, I haven't found these myself yet, but a buddy of mine picked uh, picked up some H case uh, main lines. So we'll go ahead and start with the new recolor of the Pagani Zonda R. I'm liking, I'm liking this color with the gold wheels. Uh, I have to double check and see what uh, what the super and the regular treasure hunt for H case is. If you happen to know, comment below. But uh, I think they did a really nice job on this one. Great paint job. It's got the metallic paint there. Black interior. Uh, good choice in wheels. Got some tampos on the side there. Some sponsor tampos on the side. Nothing on the front. And nothing on the back. We do have the uh, Pagani uh, on the wing there. And it is a metal wing. So I'm pretty that alone makes me happy. So good looking recaller there. Uh, next piece is a new recolor of the 84 Quattro, Audi Quattro Sport in black. Nothing really different about this one other than it, other than it being black. Um, lots of side tampos there. It's got some headlight, black interior, no taillight uh, tampos in the back. But uh, there's the new recolor of the Quattro. Uh, next is the new Porsche Taycan Turbo S in green. Also a recolor. Last one, I believe, was a red. Kind of like in this green as well. Uh, emerald green. See the metallic flakes in the that paint job? That's a nice paint job. Uh, nothing really fancy otherwise than that. A um, couple of headlight tampos and some taillights. License plate. Black interior as well. Uh, but that is a nice, nice paint on that one. And the last one he picked up for me is a, this might be a new casting, the BMW i8 Roadster. I don't think we've seen this one yet in Hot Wheels. We've seen a couple of regular i um, i8s and the Matchbox with um, mainline and opening uh, moving parts as well, but uh, I don't think we've seen this Roadster uh, silver Not too fond of the wheels. Although this is not my favorite BMW either um, But it's got kind of the uh, brown dark tan interior there And it's got some taillight tampos and really the only tampo on front is the um, The BMW M on there on the, on the hood so those are some H, new HK main lines. Uh, uh, we'll keep an eye out and see what else we can find on those. Um, the next piece I want to share with you is a, a piece that a buddy of mine picked up as well for me. Actually, everyone picked these up. But I haven't really found much in the wild. So, um, but this one is the new Redline Club, the purple VWT1 Rockster. Uh, one of my favorite VW castings. I think this is this is a beautiful piece. Um, love the casting. Love this color. It's almost a dark, deep purple color, um, but it's always a very cool casting. Um, I'm going to open this one up, but this is uh, limited to 30,000 pieces. This is number 16,233. Um, I believe, with exception, possibly one. i got to do a little research, but I believe I have all the all this casting. There might be a convention piece, but although I think I might even have the convention piece. Um, but it's been released a couple times, two times at least, two other times. Got to check my display case, but uh, yeah, this is a very cool piece. They did a really nice job on this, and that paint is just, just awesome. Um, I was like, I like the detail of it. Um, yeah, this is a great piece, I think. And uh, black interior, got the back there. I mean, RLC does some nice pieces, but uh, you know, as far as for me personally, it's got the painted shock shocks in there. Um, 
this is at the top of my list of uh, one of the more stunning pieces, I think. And I don't really, I don't really do a lot of VWs anymore, not like I used to. I stopped collecting for the most part of those, but uh, this one this is one casting I do like. So good job, RLC. Um, happy I was able to get one through a, a buddy of mine since I can't get to RLC myself on my account. Um, okay, so next I'm going to switch gears for a little bit. Matchbox. So this Matchbox is a piece that I've been looking for as well. I haven't seen these in the stores yet, but I was able to pick it up at the club meet yesterday. This is another 70th and it's 70 years special edition Matchbox uh, from the collectors. This is the Audi 2002 Audi RS6 Avant wagon <clears throat> um, there you go I like I think they did a nice job on this particular series um, I like how they kind of kept it the same deco the same theme this is a kind of a matte gray like gray black interior um, has um, rubber tires and they all have the orange rims. It's got the 70th logo on the side there, if you can see that. Um, so yeah, I think they did a really nice job on these, um, this particular release. And uh, there you go. And it comes, of course, with the box. I don't know. I don't typically keep the boxes. I haven't been keeping the boxes because it's just, in this case, I don't, it's going to go in the display case most likely. So, but uh, nice job on this one, Matchbox. Uh, and they also finally, um, again, buddy of mine picked up this next piece. Um, this is the new Matchbox Mattel Collections release. This is the new Matchbox 1980s Porsche 911 Turbo. Uh, I was able to pick up a couple of these now. Um, so it comes in the bigger box cubes here. Let's just take out the inside sleeve here. <clears throat> so, first of all, it comes in this nice uh, kind of 1980s Miami Vice vibe here. Um, Deco, 911 Turbo. And just look in the back here. Pretty cool picture in the back there. And pop the lid off here. <clears throat> So, um, I like the base. The base is pretty cool. Um, it's got the blue, <laughs> kind of the blue, sky blue rims there. Um, it does have opening doors. But, uh, yeah, I, I really like this. I think they did a nice p job on this one. And then the back. So, very cool piece. I like it <clears throat> so much that I decided to get two of them. And I like how the base is not, it's not a sticker. It's actually um, printed on the base, in the purple base there. So, very cool piece. So, I'm glad I got this. I probably, I got two of them. I'll probably at some point take one out and put it in my display case. And uh, keep the other one boxed up. All right, the last two pieces to share with you guys. Just once I can get this back in the box, go later. Um, so a couple of golf pieces. Uh, I have first of all a mini GT. Pick this up. There you go, the Miho exclusive mini GT, Lamborghini Huracan STO, uh, in the blue and orange golf colors. Does this one does not have uh doesn't have the golf logo on it but it is a golf piece so that'll go in the collection uh limited to one of five hundred and five thousand four hundred pieces and the second piece i picked up as well is also a miho exclusive this is a johnny lightning one of six thousand pieces this is a 2007 toyota fj cruiser I'll have to see if I can locate what the white lightning of this one looks like. But uh, again, nice golf piece to add to the collection. Got the white roof. I don't know if you can see it. They've got a white roof there. 
Um, so, go close up. All right. All right, Willie, that's all I have to share with you. I told you it was a quick one. Um, until next time, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.